hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by my name is teta and today it's going to be all about soft glam everyday makeup and if you want to know how we achieve this look keep on watching starting with my quarterly paris eye cream i'm going to be using this under my eye this step is very essential to my makeup routine because it helps hold my concealer and it helps it not crease next i'm gonna go in with my charlotte's magic water cream and i'm going to apply this all over my face just to make sure that my face is moisturized and hydrated before i apply uh, my foundation I'm going to prime my face with this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. My makeup stays in place all day. And I'm going to be putting this in my T-zone. That's where I'm going to focus it on, like those places where I tend to get oily. This is going to help my foundation uh, stick to my skin. It will not be moving or budging all day. Tanti Dole Ultra Wear by Lancome. This foundation is so good. I love it because it's nice and glowy. It has a good coverage, but it's not too, too heavy, but it still covers most of my dark marks and it still leaves my skin glowy which I love and for this foundation my shade is 515 warm I'm going in with this Too Faced Born This Way concealer in shade Maple apply this here I love this concealer. It gives you the perfect finish. While I let that dry, I'm gonna go in with my contour. Uh, this is by Huda Beauty in shade Lava Cake. That's it here. I love this. It's very pretty and it's going to give me that perfect snatch. Blend all that contour where we placed it and I love how natural it leaves my skin. Huda Beauty knows what they be doing. Like every thing they put out it's always it's always perfect. I shouldn't have let that dry all the way down because I really don't want like a, a full coverage finish but that's okay. Blended on my eye as well. For blush, I'm going in with this e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush. I've been obsessing over these blushes lately. They apply really, really good. They're not too pigmented and they have like a little bit of glow to them. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It has like tiny little glitters. Blend that in. They blend really well, really well. As you can see, like if you see it on the skin like this, you'll be like, oh my god, that's gonna be too much. But I promise, after you blend them in, it just gives you that soft blush look. It's not as pigmented as the Juvia's Place or, or the Rare Beauty. The Rare Beauty is pretty uh, pigmented. It looks natural. It doesn't look OD. 
and apply just a little bit on my nose blend all that together so that we don't have like any wash lines setting powder and this is in shade Clinifer. this is my favorite favorite setting powder hands down it's not too thick so it sets your makeup really good I mean look at that it's very smooth and I like that it really works well with most of my concealers this doesn't crease at all as you can see the difference this is without the setting powder and this is with look at that smooth finish it's just perfect puff in remove the excess like so and then apply It's not gonna have you looking cakey or powdery like other setting powders do. It's just gonna make you look. Do you see that? Everywhere I applied my concealer. Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Mocha Mami. It's going to place it where I contour, just to have that effect. Bronzer on my nose. It's Maybelline uh, powder blush. It's cold. It's in shade 55. Very simple very skin like I'm just gonna put it where I use my cream blush a little bit in my nose a little bit here that bronzer that we used and I'm just gonna use that color on my eyelid Concealer already started creasing, so I'm just gonna go back in with my beauty blender, blend that, and then apply the shadow. If I was going for like a full glam, I would have used like color or done cut crease or half crease on my eye but since we're doing like an everyday makeup like something you do pretty fast and get out of the door um this is what i do i just take whatever i use for my bronzer just so that we have something on the eye going in with mascara i'm using this big shot by maybelline lip liner by sephora collection in shade molasses I love 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 I love this lip liner this moisture glow plumping lip color by makeup by Mario I wish this color could come in a bigger size because I really love it. It's like this brownish nude. Morphe Continuous Prep and Set Mist. Now this is the finished look. I love how this look 
came out the glow underneath my makeup as you can see it shines through it comes out uh, I love the bronzy look love the bronzy color on my eyelids the bronze cheeks like she's giving snatch and yeah that is it for now I hope you enjoyed the video if you liked what I did here go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.